welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a, another celebrity recreation makeup look. Today's look is going to be inspired by the lovely Kylie Jenner. I found this image on Google today and I really loved the bold lip she has in this image. It's very dark and vampy. So I thought I would kind of recreate something similar to that, kind of in my own way. Um, so this is kind of the look I came up with. It is not exactly the same, but I feel like it still kind of covers the main idea of this look. So if you guys want to see how I got and recreated this Kylie Jenner makeup look, then just keep on watching, guys. So I am going to be doing this look right here. Have it zoomed in so I can see um, the colors more clearly. I'm actually going to start with my... Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. Starting with the shade Magical. Okay, taking a Morphe E23 and um, Magical, I'm gonna take that shade and I'm just going to dust it all over my crease, really diffused and kind of blending it outwards as I find you can really see that brown color kind of coming out of her eye which was really pretty, so I'm just going to really apply this in no particular spot, but just really blend it all over that crease and lower lid area just to kind of create a nice transition shade. I don't know what happened last time, but I had my camera facing a little too much this way and it pretty much focused on the doorknob behind me the entire time and I was not paying enough attention to notice so that is why we are filming this part of the video on a completely separate day. <laughs> this video was supposed to go live last week and I had not had a chance to film this, refilm this part of the video until today because I work till the evening every single day and I just can't film in the evening because I don't have lights and I rely on natural lighting thus creating no available time for me to refilm this so that is why I am doing this today and why this video is going up a lot later than I hoped after taking that shade I'm going to move on to the darker brown the shade shooting star I'm going to apply that more so in the crease rather than diffused up and kind of keeping it low down closer to the lid and I'm also gonna flick that shade up a bit as well. you will have noticed too that in the last video I did not have false lashes on my eyes so this video will be a little different as it'll end without me fault with how it'll end without me having false lashes. Just going back in time. I just wanted to make sure that you guys had a clear vision of how this eye look turned out, which is why I decided to just refilm it. Moving on to a different palette to finish this look, I'm taking my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Next, I'm going to take the shade White Fresco. It is this really kind of purpley grayish toned shadow. That is the shade I'm going to be putting all over my lid. In this photo, it was really hard to tell what lid color she had, but I just figured this would be a nice shade to go with that really dark lip, so that's why I chose this one. Who knows if this is even close to what she has on her eyes, but this is my take on it, and I just, I still really love how this look turned out, so... That's why I did that. I'm meant to kind of sandwich my transition brown shade that I used from the Dream Street palette and the Boing Fresco shade. I'm actually going to take the shade. I just took the shade Vermeer on my pinky and then I just applied that to the center of my lid and then blended it outwards just like so just to add a little bit of sheen to the eye and then to kind of darken that lash line I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalize liner and just tight lining with that just 
going to curl my lashes and then apply some Better Than Sex Mascara. So now that I have a couple coats of mascara on, I think I'm just going to leave it without false lashes because um, I don't want it to look unnatural and I do find that her lashes look really pretty and really natural in this picture. Next I'm going to move on to the rest of my face and then we'll continue with the lower lash line once I'm finished out. For my primer today I'm going to fill in those pores with my Benefit for Professional Primer. And then for my foundation today I'm going to take my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I'm going to take my Morphe Y6 brush to blend out that foundation. When I first got this foundation, it was like the perfect shade for my skin tone. However, I live in Canada and we have snow, very little sunshine lately, and I am a pale as a ghost. So, <laughs> I'm just going to have to blend that down my neck a bit more. For my concealer today, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in no, in Fair. I'm just going to apply that under my eyes and I'm also going to bring this kind of over here just so that I can really give my eye that cat eye effect and like sculpt out that eye. So instead of using tape for that kind of a thing or those little sticky like makeup things, I don't know what those are called, that makeup artists use. I'm just going to use concealer to really carve out that area. So, Like I said in my favorites video, I love using my Morphe Y6 to blend out concealer even though it is a foundation brush. But yeah, I feel like this works so good for your concealer and I feel like it blends it out so quickly because it is a bigger brush. You get more um, area. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and I am going to take the um, setting shade on this side and just setting all that concealer. I noticed in this image it's kind of cut off but Kylie doesn't have too crazy of a contour. I feel like she's just really bronzed and just kind of glowy in this so I am going to just take a bronze shade and kind of bronze up the skin. I'm not going to do any heavy contouring because like I said I don't see much of a heavy contour in this. I'm actually going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in bronzer. bronzer on the side of my brush just lightly and kind of just brush that on the side of my nose just a little bit just to kind of give my nose a little bit of a bronzy glow as well so not like a harsh contour but just a little bit of bronzing for blush I wanted this to be a bit more of a bronzy color as well so I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Glow blush in Mellow Wine I really like this blush because it's got that nude kind of brown shade to it so it matches really nicely with bronzer. I'm also going to keep the highlight a little bit more subtle. I'm actually going to take more of a bronzier shade. I have this Lise Boitier Trio Arabesque Highlighting Trio and I'm going to take the first shade here with a highlighting brush and I'm just going to gently highlight my cheekbones. Nothing super blinding or anything but just a nice little sheen. And I'm going to take that on the tip of my brush and do the nose and Cupid's bow. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to keep it super, super simple. I'm actually going to take um, the first shade we used all over the lid. So I'm just going to blend that 
on the bottom. Kind of meet it with the top cat eye area. And then with a smudger brush, I'm going to go back to the shade Buen Fresco and I'm going to apply that along my lash line, keeping it close to those lashes. Kind of giving it that lavender effect to it. I'm also going to take that shade on my same smudger brush and just kind of blend it a little bit on the waterline. So I'm just going to tug down like that and just apply that Wayne Fresco down there. Last for the eyes on my upper brow bone as well as my inner tear duct, I'm going to go back to the Dream Street palette and take Moony. It is such a pretty highlight shade for the upper brow bone because it's not super white. So I'm just going to apply that up here just to kind of lift that brow bone a little bit. Just a little bit of sheen. It's so pretty. I love it. And then taking that same shade in my inner tear duct just to kind of open the eye a little bit. So now for the start of the show, I'm gonna be applying that really bold lip color and I'm going to be using, applying some lip balm first. <laughs> this is my um, GlossierBalm.com lip balm, I love it. So because I find this lip color to be really dry, I like to apply a lip balm underneath and this isn't exactly the same color Kylie has on her lips, but it's the closest shade I have in my collection. It's kind of like a bluish purple. I Again, I am assuming that she is wearing a Kylie lipstick or a liquid lipstick on her lips. However, I don't have that, so I'm going to stick with this. This is the ColourPop Matte Lip In Guess. Okay you guys, so this is the final look after recreating Kylie's makeup look from that image. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought the eye look was so simple and easy to do, especially that I just used a little bit of mascara on the lashes. Really the main focus in this look is definitely the bold blue lip color. So that's kind of like the main focus in this look. So it is super easy, but super fun at the same time. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave and we will see you guys in my next video. Bye.